Okay, so what we're working on today is the bun with the braid for dance. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you just use regular water and get the hair nice and damp. And this is the part that will really take you longest. The place where you want to put the ultimate ponytail is about right, right here on the back of the top of the head, kind of diagonal from the ears. Similar to where the high ponytail was from last year. So for this part I'm just using a regular brush. just trying to get most of the hair up into a ponytail. And the key here is to really work on getting all of the hair up. Okay. So once you kind of get it up, just put a little bit a little bit of gel. Uh, we use Tresemme, but you just put a little bit of gel, maybe the size of a quarter or so, and just kind of goop it on to the top of the head. But make sure that you get kind of go into their skin a little bit because that's where all the little flyaways go. And then don't forget to add some to the back, the back part of the hair as well. It's, there's lots of flyaways back there too. You can never use too much gel. If you've heard Donna say use gel and then use more gel, that is the best way to go. So then just keep brushing and you'll start seeing that everything starts to look really nice and smooth. And like I said, this is the part that really takes the longest. And you want to flip the ponytail up and get the back side as well. One brush that I found that works really good, and we got it uh, at Rite Aid, is just this, it's a boar hair brush, and it kind of has more uh, finer but thicker bristles. And using this, will really get all of those little tiny bumps out of your hair. Okay, so now you're getting close to where you want to be. good. So now you want to take your first rubber band. Just a plain brown. She's got blonde hair. Dark blonde hair, but she's got blonde hair. And we always just use brown rubber bands, but if you have really white blonde hair, you can use a blonde one like this. And then there's black ones also. So once you get your ponytail in, and it looks really good, you want to, that's just one little ponytail holder. You want to put another one in. I know it doesn't make sense, but it works. If you do two of them at a time, it's not going to work because it'll be too hard for you to wrap it around. All right, so now we have our hair is nice and slick back. Now at this point you are ready for your sock, and this is using the sock bun method. And this is what it looks like. Just has a hole in it. 
and this is what it would look like prior to you cutting it. And so once you cut it off, you just cut it off like right about here. And then I'll show you what it looks like before you, right after you cut it off. So this is a sock with the toe cut off. Just has cut off right here. And then all you do is you just start wrapping it around itself like this. And you just keep rolling it and rolling it and rolling it. So probably almost always you'll use a black sock um, just because for some reason it doesn't show up in the hair like white socks do. Even with really, really blonde hair, you might try both. But um, for everybody with medium blonde hair to black hair, you'll be using a black sock. So you just put the ponytail, put this through the ponytail like that. And then you just drape all the hair around the ponytail. And you just take the brush and you just brush it so that it looks nice and smooth. And it kind of is equal portions around the whole entire hair. And then you'll want to add just a little bit more gel, like maybe the size of a dime, just to the very top, just to smooth out any loose, crazy things going on. Okay, and then you take one ponytail holder, whoops, <laughs> you take one ponytail holder and you just Put it around it. Don't do it twice. It's going to be loose. And just kind of pinch it in and kind of form the bun around it. Okay? This just holds it so that it looks nice and pretty. See how nice and smooth that looks? Okay? And then once you do that, then you can put on your second ponytail holder, which will go on twice. All right, so now we want to make sure that all of our hair is kind of, it can kind of mostly be in the back if you have really long hair, but if you have shorter hair, um, you want to make sure that it's all the way around the whole head. Okay, it's at this point then that you want to put your hairnet on, okay? This one is uh, a blondish brown hair weight, uh, hair net, and I would say only do it no more than two times. Um, then you can just wrap it around, and it really is just to hold in the top part of the bun, okay? Everything, you'll see like loose stuff hanging up here, that's all right, you can bobby pin it if you want to, just to hold it in place, but your braid is going to hide all of that nonsense, so you won't even see it. All right, so Sophia's got really long hair, and so I don't really need to have all of her hair all the way around. That brush. And so you want to kind of make sure that, and you can use a comb for this too if it is easier for you to kind of just make it nice and pretty. But this is where you just start braiding it now, just a regular braid. 